What's up, guys? <laughs> Life just does not natural. Hi, guys. This is Andrea. I've already set my eyes with the Honest Beauty um, blur, invisible blur powder, but I definitely want to make sure that um, there's no creasing up there, and that's why I'm using it again just to make sure because my eyes crease so fast that I could just go in with the eyeshadow and just um, set those creases in, which I don't want. So I'm gonna uh, use these Lovina uh, Eye Magic Palette for today's look. Um, I'm just gonna make it brown because I'm wearing uh, like a purple sh uh, shirt. I don't wanna um, overdo it with the color. So I'm just gonna go really neutral on the eyes uh, and make it nice and... Um, Good with it. All right, so I'm gonna use these Hudden Angie A501 blush um, brush. I'm gonna go into these um, light shade here. It's like a taupey brown shade. And I'm gonna go directly in my crease. Now above my crease, I should say, because I have hooded eyes, um, I wanna make sure that I can see my crease. And if I were to just do it like this and put it in, once I would open my eyes, I wouldn't be able to see nothing. So that's the trick with um, hooded eyes. You definitely wanna create your um, crease above. I'm gonna go down on the um, eyelash line, kinda in an angle. Just bring it down not towards the middle, not more than that. And then also underneath the eye on the uh, three quarters in on the lash line, on the lower lash line, three quarters in. All right, can you see that? And then I'd like to go into the dark brown, brown here. It's really strong, really pigmented, so I only dip my tips of the brush and I'm just gonna go in just on the uh, corner of my eye, kind of like on an angle. I'm gonna put my brush right there, you see that? And, uh, I guess it's really pigmented. So I'm just gonna go up towards the middle of my eye and then down in a V motion. You can go swirling, still in the V motion, um, or just um, like kind of like a windshield, but down and up. And you wanna keep it in here. You don't wanna go all the way in because it's such a uh, stronger color. You want to um, just define the eye but not make it all dark. I need a mirror so I can actually look straight at you. <laughs> there we go, much better. Now I can see what I'm doing. All right. Mm, dry skin, there we go, all right. All right, um, okay, I see that I may need some, I'm gonna dip again and just go down on the lash line. Gotta intensify that lash line. Just diffuse it more like, more so, much better. All right, that's what's gonna make our eye look um, more elongated, like more sexy and also um, look like it's bigger. Okay, then I'm gonna take, I, I don't like what's in here. I'm kind of looking for something more no color. So I'm gonna take this Armes Beauty um, highlighter. It's in Grand Dame. And I'm just gonna use this one for, uh, well, I forgot first. Hold, 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 hold your thought. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take the same brush, same color, and just go underneath the lash line uh, on the lower lash line, just one quarter to kind of match what we did on top. And depending on how smoky you want it or how um, drastic you want it, that's how much you want to go. It all depends on your liking. Okay, now, I might do something more. Yeah, I'm gonna take these Fit Glow Beauty in Mulberry. It's got a nice um, lining brush on the side, but I'm just gonna use these um, eyeliner just from the middle out to define it even more. I'm also gonna pull out on that little um, uh, 
and fake tail to create a cat eye. And I do like it very faded, so that's why I'm kind of going in and kind of gently wiping it to kind of make it really fading. On a quarter on your lash lower lash line as well gently smudge it okay can you see that difference I'm gonna clean up that a bit okay now we can actually go in and use these RMS Beauty I'm just gonna clean my brush that I was using earlier just shake off the pigment and then I'm just gonna dip in there and starting uh, from the uh, inner corner, you can either do start from the middle or in the inner corner. So I'm gonna start in the inner corner because I like that to be quite um, light. I'm gonna do that. And gently go um, down like one quarter to meet with the three quarters that we did earlier and then up as well, one quarter. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the same one and just go in, now this time in the middle and deposit the most color there. Which is really not a lot of color because it is a highlight. Um, it's quite mild, but it's just enough to um, bring some luminosity in there and make it really, really uh, pretty. And then I'm just gonna gently diffuse the metal that I put on into the sides to kind of meet with the other sides of the um, eye. Okay, I think I like that. Also, what I'm gonna do is take again and then go up on the uh, underneath the um, eyebrow to highlight that part there. It's gonna clean up if I went a little too high and also kind of bring some luminosity and bring it forward. Okay, and that's the eyeshadow. Now, next thing I wanna do is, I wanna um, take these uh, Pacifica in Bare, and I'm going to just um, line my waterline. Line it with um, as much intensity as you like. But definitely do not use the white. That's gonna be very um, harsh. So if you want to achieve the softness and the nice and the lightness and brightness, um, you want to do a nude as, as close as possible to your skin color. That way it, um, it just brings up the, the nice brightening in your uh, waterline, makes it look bigger. And then of course I'm going to do a um, mascara and I'm going to use this Big Papa from Wet n Wild. Just uh, wiggle it up, pull it through. By looking up, I, um, I let my lashes separate away from the skin, which in turn lets me uh, <laughs> have some more room and not um, deposit on my skin. And then for the lower part, opposite. So you look um, down, you would point your face down, but kind of look up. Now, I know there's some people that use different uh, mascaras for lower lash line, but honestly, to me, it's like kind of like a waste of money because mascara, you're supposed to uh, change it every three months. And even with one tube, sometimes it seems like you're not finishing it up and then you're just like wasting it. So I don't know, let me know, do you do that? And did you find it that it actually works better? I don't know. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for the mascara. I think so, let's see. Yep, and then let's do some um, eyebrows. Let's use, what is it? Okay, let's use this Shuemura in nine. It's the hard um, formula. Um, it's a coal 
eye pencil, not eye pencil, um, eyebrow pencil. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just fill in whatever I feel that it is. I usually don't go in the front. Um, if I do, it'll be very little. So I like that part to be lighter and um, yeah, the less the better to me in the front. I don't wanna look like I'm angry. <laughs> so that and then let's see, I need a, I'll take this one. There we go. Just brush it up. See what it looks like. Kind of like to uh, fix that underneath there and the top as well. And then I'm going to take this um, Kosas um, clear gel. Sorry. Ah, there we go. Kosas clear gel or gel in clear and just kind of um, brush them up with it to have them um, stay still and not collapse by midday. Okay, that's one. And then I'll just go around and do the other one. But I forgot to put anything else, like no, no bronzer, no. <laughs> no nothing, no blush, no nothing. Okay, we gotta fix that. Not that I need it, but I kind of do kind of just because I like it. Okay, I'm gonna take these um, Flawless Face Elf uh, brush and I'm gonna take, what should we take? Um, I'll take these, um, since I have it on, this uh, bronzer in uh, Charlotte Tilbury um, Nudegasm palette. I'm gonna start at the top, at, at the top of my, um, forehead and then go down in a three uh, shape okay and I also like to go up here to make my chin look or appear less less than what it is I can only always use a little sharper of a chin for myself for my liking all right, and then just, I like to diffuse it really, really nice so that it does not look like it's just sitting on top of my skin. I want it to look like it's part of my skin. Now, if you went a little too far, you can just take your finger or a clean brush and kind of collect the extra there. Okay, I'm gonna also uh, go across my the tip of my nose to uh, make it look less big or long. And then underneath my um, bottom lip, a little bit on the side just to bring up some um, shade in there and look at make it look like it's um, bigger oh yeah okay now for the blush let's do these um, honest beauty in rosé Vita set plus perfect um, it's really pretty color let's see oh, here we go I like it because um, one it's very easy to use and two it gives it a, a like a blurred effect on the skin oh i might have done a little too much there get back in there okay and i like to bring it up too um just to kind of i need some light some on there just to kind of bring the colors all together and make them look um like they belong together I'm gonna just um, wipe a bit off because it seems like it's quite intense. Must have tapped the, the tube a little too much. Okay. Yeah, definitely too much. <laughs> okay, that's okay. We can still we can still work with it. Anyways, by the time I'm done with my makeup, usually it um, de-intensifies. Because usually it's intensifies, but no, it, it um, comes down, it really um, softens up on the skin. And if I do need to mess with it then, then I'll do that after. But um, this is the um, eye look. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and then I'll come back and then um, we'll assess and see how it actually looks together. But let me give you um, a difference now. Here we go. No eye. I mean, no makeup eye because I still have an eye. <laughs> and then... Um, no makeup eye. Makeup eye. 
And I know that even this one, even if this one is really not very intense, it is intense for some people. It depends on uh, how comfortable everyone is. Um, but yeah. All right, see you soon. Okay guys, um, this is how it actually looks with the whole makeup on. Now, as far as lips goes, um, I only have this um, Innisfree Lip Sleeping Mask with canola oil on and they're really nice and hydrated and I really like to do that before I start with my makeup or anything um, after my skincare, of course, because uh, then it leaves me with nice plump lips. So then I can go in and do whatever it is that I want to do. Um, I may actually just go with some color. I may use these um, Siren Intuition. So should I do different stuff? No, actually, you know what? I'm not going to do anything because the eyes are really quite nice and I don't want to put too much color. So I'll just still do this one. They hey, might go to. So, uh, I like that it's so soft and cushy on the lips. I also like that uh, somehow these lip, lip masks, there's no tingle, there's no nothing on it, it's just moisturizing and, and hydration and all that, but it somehow seems like it, it brings out the color in your lips because I have nothing on my lips and they definitely look nice. Um, like I could just, I can just go like this, which is what I usually do and not put anything on. Uh, I also like that this container, even though it has a, a little lip from the, um, can you see that? Hold on. Um, do you see that lip? Just a tiny bit from it, but it's not very, um, exaggerated to where you have to go underneath and scoop it out, which is nice. And also it has a very big surface. So if you were to use your fingers, uh, I usually don't, if I don't have the little uh, spatula or whatever that is called, uh, if I don't have it to use it, I actually just take my nail and go against, uh, against it so I can scoop it up on my nail and then put it on. I don't really like to just put my finger in there and swirl it in because then I'm left with a bunch of product on my skin, on uh, my finger. So I just do it with my nail against it and then just um, scoop it up and put it that like that. But um, it definitely gives you a big surface if you do like to do that with your uh, finger. That way, um, you know, you don't feel like you, you get it underneath your nail because you have to be so um, pointy on it. So, but yeah, it really uh, plumps the, no, no, it does not plump the lips. It just makes them look like they're plumper because they're hydrated and because they're um, not shriveled, you know, like when they're dry and they're like shrivel up and they're like, you look like you don't have lips. Don't want lips, <laughs> but I definitely like to wear something nice and hydrating. Um, I've been trying all kinds of different ones. I may make um, a comparison uh, video soon about it. But let me know if you have a favorite. I'm really curious. I love lip products, um, as in hydrating lip products, as in uh, lip masks, lip um, glosses, lip anything that's hydrating good ingredients and nice to the lips because I have, I know I shouldn't say this, but chronically, <laughs> chronically dry lips, but no, it is just very, very dry. And I've always had cracked lips until a few years back when I started to actually using these during the day too, not just at night, because if I just wait to do it at night, it's not, uh, it's not as effective as is if you're wearing it during the day as well. Anyways, guys, this is it. Um, I hope that you um, liked this. I hope that you, that was just a, to me trying to give you a last look on how everything looks and um, how it actually is behaving with everything else. Um, I love me a neutral eye, especially if I'm gonna wear something like this, that's, you know, it's out there. I definitely don't wanna use anything that's gonna make it, you know, contrast or not look right, like they're fighting and, 
yeah, or like they frown for, atten for attention. So a uh, neutral eye goes good with absolutely everything. It's, it doesn't matter what you change, what you put on, um, it's gonna go good with everything. So uh, this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you try it, let me know down below. You do not have to use the same colors or the same palettes that I use. Use what you have, yeah. Uh, there's plenty browns out there. There's plenty, um, uh, what do you call, um, highlighters out there. Or just a shadow that it's a highlighting sh shadow. I don't have it in this palette, so that's why I used uh, my face um, highlight. <laughs> Words are come to buy, are hard to come by. Words are hard to come by. Um, anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below so that you don't miss out on future videos. Up until I see you next time. You take care. Bye.